Before I start the video, I just want to give a quick little update. So while working on this one, I was under the assumption that Carolina in Fort Worth was in pretty serious condition at the hospital after an altercation with the police. But right before I put it out, got an unconfirmed report that looks like she's going to be okay and that she's in good spirits right now. So we all hope that's the case, but we'll keep an eye out just in case. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Fraud at a Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt A. Moron. I'm going to do a little bit of a different video today. So I came across this this morning while watching the Angry Vets live. And apparently, Carolina in Fort Worth went out cop watching last night and didn't go home. She wound up in the hospital. So she went out cop watching. And we don't know a lot. We just have her video, which isn't very clear. So I'm not going to hold judgment to her or to the officer right now. We're going to need to see the facts in the body cam. But I know she was in Fort Worth watching the cops. I think they were towing cars. And she inserted herself in the situation, which is never a good idea. But again, that's what frauditors do. So one of the officers on the scene told her to cross the street. She didn't do it right away. There was a brief struggle. Next thing you know, she's on the ground, and you hear some sort of labored breathing. I listened to the live of her attorney that he did this afternoon. Now, he claims to be a combat vet, and to him it sounded like it was a serious head injury, and the type of breathing is something the brain does when it's trying to stay alive. And it does sound like her condition is pretty serious right now. So I will say, I hope she's okay. I pray she makes it out with just a minor injury. But we don't know what's going to happen. The attorney did say that she's in the hospital, not the morgue, which is a good thing, but that she's also in police custody. So I'm not going to say enjoy this, but let's watch it together and see what happens. Now, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, so I may not comment at all. But I will have some comments at the end. So let's watch. They hear I was over here and they're all coming. They think Manuel's with me. That's what the problem is. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what I did. I really don't. It's so hard. It's got a brand new like program to it. But now everybody, all these cops are coming up here. They must think they saw me. I know. They probably think Manuel's with me. He's not. That's why they came over here. That's the tow truck. That's their discussion over here. They're having a discussion over here. They're saying, okay, we're going to tell this, we're going to tell that. Let's see. What are we going to do? Where do you... Oh, I bet it's a cop car that's broken. That's hilarious if it is. Predator, predator ones. Predator tow truck drivers. They're the worst. Do we have a black officer? That's amazing. Yay. No, it's not. It's a white guy. No, he's Mexican. What's going on? Don't say something to me, I dare you. Fire. He said we were about to tow this car off. They towed a bunch of cars off. Like that that shows really like they're trying to build the entertainment district up, right? This is a great way to do it. 
This is great. This is great for community relations. <laughs> Isn't this a great idea for community relations to start towing people's cars? I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, that's the driver. These guys are staring at me like I'm crazy. Good to see everybody. Yeah, they're gonna open up some extra parking spots. It's great. That's great for community policing. Really good. Let's see what this sign says. That's great for community relations. That shows the spirit. That's the spirit. Fuck somebody stay up. That's great for community policing. Like they're trying to, to build up the entertainment center, but now you're going to tell everybody's shit. So you're going to tell this one. This is the Plainview Doctrine on it. That's a private parking lot. How, how the hell How the hell are you going to tell off a private parking lot? Are you, are you allowed to tell off a private parking lot? Of course they are. Happens every day. I'll gather say a majority of the toes happen on private property. And I've said it over and over again. I'm going to say it again. If you don't know what you're talking about, you're not an expert and you have no business doing what you're doing out there. Are you allowed to tow off a private parking lot? Oh, you're going to ignore me? Okay. Be a dick. You're a dick to me one other night, too. It's Mr. Dickhead. He's, a rude, he's the only tow truck driver that's ever been rude to me besides that other one. This has, this is nothing about, it says, the signs do not, this is a private parking lot. So they're going to tow all these cars off on people who are still working or think they're safe. It's a private parking lot. It doesn't say any, there's no towing, it will be a forced lot of signs. Let's look for them. Do you see any towing will be strictly in four signs? I don't see any. So there's no signs that say towing will be enforced. What does this say? This is validated parking. It says please register upon parking. Then validate parking. Scan code or take pay. Failure to pay or extend the time may result in boot or tow. Please register upon parking. How do they, who do they register with? Okay, here it says, here's a sign. Does anybody know how to do these? This is what the sign says. I got I got express so let me focus in. Here's what the signs say. The signs say validated parking, please register upon parking. Business is can then validate parking for Folk Street warehouses. Ways to validate. You can scan the QR code or text pay. Failure to pay or extend time may result in boots. Okay, so how do they know if they paid or not? That's what I want to know. How do they know if they paid or not? How do you know if they paid or not? How do you guys know if they paid or not? Oh, they're going to ignore me too. Help! Rape! Fire! 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 That's great community relations too. How do you know if they paid or not, ladies? Okay, so this is where it goes sideways. Hey ladies, hey ladies, hey ladies, hey Kruger. No, I'm not going to the floor. There's no if there's no nothing. You can go to the other side of the street, you're gonna get arrested. I'm not warning you again. What are you talking about? Go to the other side of the street. Why? Right now. Wait, tell me why first. We're doing an arrest. You're under arrest. You're not you're no, 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 I'm not under it. Okay, you go. Stop resisting. Stop resisting.
Okay, from that little bit of information, let me tell you what I think. One, I heard Officer Kruger tell Carolina three times to go across the street. And I heard one of the female officers say, there is an investigation. So that's the end of the story right there. When the police give you an order, you follow it. It's not a compromise. It's not a negotiation. You follow the order. All he had to do was tell her one time to go to the other side of the street and he would have been in the right to arrest her. Now, secondly, I don't know exactly what happened. You can't tell. So I can't wait to see the body cam. Is it possible that this Officer Kruger used excessive force? Yes, it's possible. But it would be wrong to accuse him right now, like the 1A community is doing, of being a tyrant. So like I said, I first got wind of this when I saw the angry vet go live earlier this morning. And that live, of course he's going to go support her, and that's fine, you expect that. But it was also everything you'd expect from these frauditors. One, they kept posting the number to the police. Why would you do that? Believe it or not, police get calls for emergencies all the time. Why would you want to tie up their lines? Say, for instance, Caroline slipped and hurt her head and there were no police around and one of her buddies was trying to call the police. But they had to wait in line because someone was call flooding them. You don't call flood a police department. You don't. That's probably illegal. And like I said, I also went to go see the live stream of her attorney, Texas 2A attorney, who talked about what information he found. And it was everything you expect out of an attorney. First of all, he was advocating for his client, of course. But two, he also slandered the officer who he kept calling Freddy Krueger. And he also slandered the entire Fort Worth Police Department, calling them tyrants. Now, he did, in a very milquetoast way, encourage his people not to call the jail. Which is more than you might expect. He was making an honest plea to them not to call the jail. They didn't, they didn't hurt her. But he did also throw in the little caveat at the end, but you're free to do whatever you want. But like I said, I'm going to keep my eye out on this one, kind of keep waiting for the body cam to come out. And whatever happened, happened. If Caroline is in the wrong, she's in the wrong. If the officer used excessive force, he'll be in the wrong and he'll have to pay for it. But let's just hope that Carolina makes it out okay. And then maybe whoever needs to learn a lesson will learn that lesson.